close your eyes and watch your breath. Be kind to your breath. Allow it to come in in a way that feels good. Don't force it too much, unless you realize that you're getting a little drowsy and sleepy, then you can force it. But learn to listen to what the breath has to tell you about what the body needs right now, and provide that kind of breathing all the way down through the body. This way you give yourself good grounding. You're showing goodwill to yourself. Here's something right nearby, what John Fung used to call the grass at the, the gate of the cattle pen. In other words, the cattle get released from the pen and they go running out to the grass in the meadow and they neglect to see that there's some grass right there at the gate. So take advantage of what you got right here. This is a sign of wisdom, learning to see that there are potentials all around you that you can take advantage of. And some of them are free. All too often we're dazzled by things that cost money. And of course they do their best to dazzle you with the advertisements. But here's the breath constantly doing its work. It's kept you alive all this time. So pay it some attention. And that way you're showing kindness to yourself. Finding happiness in a way that doesn't cause any harm to anybody else, doesn't weigh on anybody else at all. You don't have to take anything away from anybody. And when you have this independent source of happiness, then it's a lot easier to have goodwill for others. Otherwise, you're constantly thinking about what you can get out of them. And that's going to color your way of dealing with them. But when you have this independent source of happiness inside, you can look at what they actually need. And you can be kind to them without necessarily buying into their stories. You've got this independent point of view. That way you can learn how to trust yourself more, too. And the goodwill is basically for your sake. You want to be able to trust yourself in what you do and say and think around other people. And that includes even people who are really difficult, people who are really cruel, people who have done horrible things. You have to treat them well as well. In other words, Treating them well, though, doesn't mean just following what they want, but doing what you think is actually for their best benefit. And it's a lot easier to see that when you're not in the, in the fight for this little, that little piece of happiness from outside. You can pull away and you can see what they're fighting for and see that it's not necessarily worth it. And then you can treat them with better compassion. This is clear-eyed compassion, clear-eyed goodwill because it comes from this place of independence. 